Hello everyone, welcome to Fantasy Lighthouse. In this reading, we're gonna be taking a look at what Taurus needs to know. To book your private session, all of that info can be found in the description box of this video. And please check out Femacy's Artist Spotlight, Springfield, Massachusetts artist, Boss Dawn. Okay, so let's take a look at who it is that's thinking about you, Taurus. Spirit, please talk to me about the person that can't stop thinking about Taurus. What's going on with this person? Who is this person? Talk to me about this energy that thinks about Taurus, all right? This could be a spirit. It can be an ancestor. The temperance is also Sagittarius energy. It could be a fire sign, all right? Tell me more about this person that's thinking about Taurus. Talk to me about this person that thinks about Taurus, please. So this person, whether fire sign or whichever sign, okay, this is a card of Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, regardless this person wants to travel to see you, okay? I don't know if this person lives down the street. I don't know if they live in another state. Either way, they're coming your way, okay? I feel like this is what they desire. Even if they haven't said it, even if they haven't called you or sent you a message, they want to come and see you. Tell me more. Tell me more about this person. Why do they want to come and see Taurus? Why does this person want to come and see Taurus? Yeah. Look at this, right? Communication. They need to talk to you about something, all right? I don't know if this is your friend or a family member. Remember, you have to take the metaphor the way it applies to your situation, right? So it's not always in reference to a lover. It could be. For each of you, it's different. However, this person, just like I said, is on their way to you and they wanna talk, they wanna communicate, okay? This is a card that represents communication and fast communication, so it's like they can't wait to talk to you about something. And the reason why, it's because they're feeling like this, okay? So I want you to think about whomever it is in your life that this image reminds you of, okay? That's who we're talking about. This person feels lonely, Without you, they feel a major loss. And it's like they're waiting to have this conversation and I don't know what the conversation is gonna be about. Let's take a look. Spirit, please talk to me about the conversation. What is this conversation gonna be about? It's obvious here that this person wants to talk to Taurus, okay? They're traveling to come and see Taurus. What do they want to talk about? What do they want to talk about? You're not going to believe me. <laughs> this is what they want to talk about. This is beautiful. The Ace of Cups, all right? So... This person, they're in love with you. If you were questioning this, you don't need to question it anymore, okay? For the Ace of Cups to come out here, the answer is yes. This person does have feelings for you. They miss you or, you know, perhaps you're around them already and you doubt their feelings for you. You don't have to doubt anymore. The love is real. 
It definitely is, okay? Ace of Cups energy. So they want to talk to you about... It could be furthering a commitment or the conversation is going to go very well is what I'm getting here. That's what they hope for, okay? Tell me more. Tell me more about this person. I feel like there's a bit of a struggle that this person is going through okay with this seven of wands energy so i feel like they're battling a lot of vices there's competition you know there's issues with family when it comes to this person and for a little while you know they might have been blocked off and you were kind of confused as to what's going on, you know? But I feel like you're gonna get what you want out of this situation with the Ace of Pentacles. I feel like even if you were held back yourself or you might've been hesitant, I feel like you're still gonna give to this person, all right? And we don't have to be talking about a past person, right? But there's definitely somebody that's on their way to you, okay? Because they're feeling like this and they want to talk about this with you, all right? So that's a beautiful energy. Now let's take a look at the elements, all right? So first, let's start with the Taurians that are dealing with a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. Spirit, talk to me about the Taurians that are dealing with a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. How does this other earth sign feel about Taurus? How does this other earth sign feel about Taurus? All right, so you have here the seven of pentacles, all right? And you have this two of swords. So you could be feeling like this person is not telling you something, they're guarded, blocked off, okay? Or it could go vice versa, you could be the one who is feeling like this towards this other earth sign, okay? You could be the one that wants to cut somebody off, all right? Actually, I'm feeling like this is your energy, Taurus. I feel like there's something going on with you and another earth sign, and for right now, you just took a step back and that's okay. There's nothing ever wrong with that, okay? You have to be okay first. And if you have to take your time, then so be it. This is how they're feeling though. You know, they're wondering what's up. And they can tell you're disappointed about something. So as you can see there, this person is just looking down at the pentacles, right? One more card. How does this person feel about Taurus? We're talking about how another earth sign feels about Taurus. Tell me more, please. This person you know, even though there's some sort of issue happening with you guys, they still hold you in high regard, okay? And they believe in you. And you know that. But for some reason, someone's not talking enough about something or someone is bothered by a situation, okay? That's what I'm getting. All right, now let's take a look at the Taurians dealing with 
an air sign. Spirit, please talk to me about Taurus dealing with a Libra, a Gemini, or an Aquarius. Spirit, please talk to me about Taurus dealing with a Libra, a Gemini, or an Aquarius. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. How does this person feel about Taurus? How does this person feel about Taurus? This is actually Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. This is how this person feels about the connection, okay? For some reason, they feel like this is too much. Something is a lot for them. I don't know if you're asking this person for something and they can't give it to you, but right now, this is how this person feels. They can't give you something even if you asked. I mean, they feel like so much pressure is on them that they can't escape a situation. Tell me more. Spirit, tell me more about how this Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius feels about Taurus. How does this Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius feel about Taurus? Okay. So with the magician being present here, which is actually Gemini energy, you could be feeling right now that they can't for some reason. There's something that they can't do is what I'm getting. But they're going to get back up again, all right? They're going to start to feel better about whatever it is that they're going through. Now, and I also believe that they're going to have faith in the connection again, all right? They may not be um, really optimistic about what's happening with you guys, but it's because of all of the drama or something that they're experiencing that they feel like they can't get out of, but eventually they rise above it with the magician being present. So that's good. Tell me more about how this Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius feels about Taurus. How does this Libra, Libra energy, okay? So communication. So that's a good thing, all right? Expect it, it's going to happen just because someone isn't telling you what you want to hear right now, it doesn't mean that it's not going to happen, okay? Something like that. All right, so let's take a look at the water signs. Spirit, please talk to me about how the water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, feel about Taurus. How does Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, okay, feel about Taurus? The Three of Swords energy. All right, so a lot of pain coming from this person. They're hurt about something, okay? Tell me more about how this water sign feels about Taurus. How does this Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces feel about Taurus? How does this water sign feel about Taurus, please? How does this water sign They're going somewhere or they've gone away or they need to leave. Let me see. Let me clarify. They're hurt to leave. It hurt them to go, okay? With the three of swords, right? This is pain because they had to go. Tell me more. 
tell me more about it's like they didn't want to leave okay so they didn't want to leave you and it's just troubling for them yeah you know they're wounded here there's a wounded warrior there's someone who they could be mad at you for some of you not all of you you know for some of you this person felt like they had to leave and they weren't ready to or i don't know if you told this person they had to go or you stopped talking to this water sign or i don't know but there's something about what you're up to that concerns them because they don't really know why you're acting this way is what I'm getting, okay? All right, let's take a look at the fire signs. Spirit, please talk to me about how Aries, Leo, Sagittarius feels about Taurus. And here we have fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius with the Six of Wands energy. They feel like you have victory or you're being victorious in some way. They also feel like you're moving on from them, okay? Talk to me about how this fire sign feels about Taurus. Talk to me about how Aries, Leo, Sagittarius feels about Taurus. Okay, so maybe this person has Earth in their chart, right? Because this is how the Earth sign was viewing you as guarded. And now the fire sign views you as not being interested. Or this could be vice versa, but somebody is not talking enough or just decided to put a blind eye to this whole situation, you know. Talk to me about how this fire sign feels about Taurus, please. How does this fire sign feel about Taurus? The Three of Cups. So they would like to reunite here if they could, but there's one of you. I don't know if it's the fire sign or if it's you. We can clarify that. One of you is blocked off and is not entertaining the other person for some reason. Clarify the two of swords. Who is this energy? Who is the blocked off person, please? Who is the blocked off energy? Hmm. I feel like it's the both of you. The both of you are very much alike, is what I'm getting. And you both want to talk to each other. But it's like we have two boss figures here. The emperor is a boss, okay? And I just feel like neither of you wants to bow down at all. And it's like no one wants to be the one to communicate first or something like that. One of you doesn't want to be the first one to reach out or that's what I'm getting. So pride is in the way, basically. All right. We have the two of wands at the bottom of the deck. All right. Someone's waiting for you, okay? With the queen of pentacles and then the two of wands. So this person is just watching you, staring at you, missing you. All right, that's what I have for you, Taurus. I wanna thank you for watching. Book your private session. All of that info is in the description box. And please follow me on Instagram. Thank you. Take care.